Hey guys, it's Double Winning or Nick, and today I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. Um, this game, this commentary is not gonna be about the gameplay at all, and instead, it's just gonna kind of be a commentary about my life. Um, so if you're not interested in hearing about that, just click outside the video. Um, you don't have to listen to it. Um, I just decided to do this because this gameplay is just a Graves stomp. Um, it's kind of entertaining to watch. But um, it's there's not a whole lot you can learn from it. Just It's just the other team wasn't that good. Um, in the beginning, you'll see that there are a lot of lull replay bu bugs. Um, don't worry about them. Just, uh, it gets to the actual gameplay in about um, 30 seconds or so. Um, so I guess we'll start this out um, with high school because I think that's where a lot of people start to kind of find themselves. Um, but before high school, um, I tried a lot of things in my life. Um, I tried a lot of sports. Um, I tried basketball. I tried um, wrestling. I tried football. Um, I tried things like choir. I tried things like drama. Um, I did a lot of writing. I did a lot of drawing. You know, I just, you know, of course, video games, things like that. Things that kids do. Um, not too many things stuck for very long. Um, and the things that did st stick um, sometimes got a little unhealthy. Um, I say I say that because like I used to write, and when I would write, I would I would get so into these characters that I would just stay up hours and hours on end um, just writing and writing and writing because I was just I was so into it, and it it just had a heavy effect on the rest of my life. Um, I would I would go to school with only two to three hours of sleep, I'd fall asleep in class, and um, that just started, it was just downhill, and then I would come home, and I wouldn't study, I wouldn't do my homework, I would just want to write, and write, and write, and write, and I made all these friends online, and I didn't have friends in my neighborhood, so if I wanted to go hang out with um, the one friend, I really, I really only had one friend until I was 14, I mean, I had a few um, friends that I saw, but they were mostly friends through other friends. But I had one best friend until I was, I was 14, and I mean, we hung out all the time. Um, well, at least uh, every weekend, basically, um, because we lived pretty far away, so we couldn't really hang out on the weekdays. Um, but I would make, I made all these friends online, and um, this, that's kind of how my life was the first, you know, 14 years of my life, 15 years. Um, was I kind of had trouble connecting with uh, with people my age and um, people like I guess in real life you know quote quote um, and I think a lot of it was because uh, throughout my childhood years I uh, I moved a lot like a lot a lot um, my family had a lot of money issues and some other issues that required us to move um, so I switched schools a lot um, I went to 10 different schools, um, one, two, three, four, five, six different elementary schools. Um, so I guess nine different schools, six different elementary schools, uh, two middle schools, and then high school. Um, so when I got into high school, um, I actually um, chose to go to the high school that my best friend went to, um, and it was a bit out of the way. So uh, um, I had to actually wake up early in the morning to go. Uh, to go have my mom drive me all the way across town to take the bus to go to this high school just because I wanted to go to this high school with my best friend so bad. And um, because of all my moving when I finally went to high school, um, all these kids that I had met over elementary school and middle school, well, not middle school because that's when I moved way, way far away. Um, all these kids that I had met during elementary school were all going to this high school now. So everyone knew me and everyone, um, like, it was just like, this feeling like so many people knew me and I had so many friends and I don't I don't know it was kind of a cool feeling and so um that's when I started to kind of pick up more friends and so um I had all this motivation and that's kind of when um I stopped uh stopped writing and stuff and so I wanted to be more active in school so I actually um I started doing theater and uh it was a really cool experience and um there was this uh there was this girl in theater um uh, and it was funny because in um, middle school, I, di I didn't do theater itself. I did a stage crew, which is where you just uh, kind of set up the stuff. And uh, I only did it because I had a crush on this girl who was um, 
the stage crew manager, and uh, you know I didn't have the guts to tell her. So I decided to you know, join stage crew, um, and she actually made me assistant stage crew manager. There were like four people on it, so I mean, um, you know, one out of three chance that I'll be the assistant. But uh, it was pretty cool, and we hung out, and um, she was just a really real person. And it, and it was it was hard to find you know a real person in middle school. So um, I ended up moving away though to go to my. Um, my best friend's high school. Um, you know, I I had gotten over her, so it was okay. And, uh, and so I did I did theater, and I met some pretty cool people. And I ended up uh, getting a, a crush on another girl in the theater class. But unfortunately, it turned out that she was actually a senior in high school, and I didn't find this out for two to three months into theater. And because um, she she was a really short girl. So, you know, naturally, I just kind of assumed she was short, so she would be, you know, freshman, sophomore. And, uh, found out that wasn't the case, and that kind of sucked. Um, but, you know, it, it didn't really develop into much. Um, and so my first two years of high school were kind of awkward. Um, I still hadn't really developed kind of the skills to make friends and such like that. Um, but I still met some really good people in uh, my freshman, sophomore year and I still know a lot of those people. Um, in fact, I think really the, the good friends I made freshman sophomore year are um, the good friends I still have now, like friends I made junior, senior year. Um, they were good friends, but they didn't really, they didn't really stick around. Um, let's see, uh, so I hadn't really had any success with any girls. Um, I think, yeah, freshman year was first time I had really really tried for a girl um, you know put my heart on my sleeve and everything and uh, well she basically just uh, broke my heart and uh, it got got kind of pathetic because I I didn't really know what to do you know when a girl turns you down um, I didn't really know close to what I know now and so um, I just kind of kept trying and trying and trying in all the wrong ways and just made her me basically have no chance of there whatsoever, and so uh, that w that kind of hurt the ego because um, it was you know I'd always kind of had that excuse with other girls like oh you know if I tried I could I could get her um, but then this was the first time I really really tried and uh, just just didn't work out um, so uh, that went on for a few months three months of me basically just uh, building up the courage to try again and then uh, her just turning me down and uh, she didn't she didn't do it in a uh, in a really good way um, she always left in my opinion um, kind of a, like a just maybe um, and I think she whether she meant to do that on purpose or not um, I'd like to give her the benefit of the doubt and say she wasn't trying to do it on purpose but um, finally you know the third reaction I you know had to take a hint that it wasn't happening um, then so, uh, the beginning of sophomore year, that was in freshman year, beginning of sophomore year, I got another crush on uh, actually one of my friend's sisters, and uh, that went on for a really long time, and um, same thing happened basically, you know, I finally got the courage to tell her, um, she just didn't want anything to do with it, and it's just because I went about it all wrong, um, I just, you know, quote, quote, friend zone, um, whatever. And so that kind of sucked. Um, but then uh, the end of sophomore year is kind of when um, I don't know things just started to kind of click. Um, I kind of learned from my mistakes, and girls were actually starting to like me now. And so that was that was pretty cool. And um, then um, so you know I went on a few dates with a few different girls, and uh, but I just couldn't really find anyone that um, that I really liked, um, but I didn't want to miss my opportunity, and uh, I was still kind of getting used to the fact that all these different girls would actually go on dates with me, so um, I just kind of kept saying yeah, and uh, then um, junior year, um, things started to get a bit more serious with girls, and uh, still my schoolwork suffered because... Um, Freshman, sophomore year, I was so used to just staying up late and um, sleeping through classes that it just kind of transferred over. Um, it's 
probably one of my biggest regrets of high school. I wish I had done better in high school. Um, I'm sure anyone who did poorly in high school would say, say the same thing. I don't think there's very many people who wish they, uh, or say that, excuse me, people who did bad in high school and then still are like, you know, I, I have no problem with how I did in high school. I don't think that I don't think that exists. Um, unless they're just, I don't know. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, junior year, um, just had crazy success with girls, like, no girl turned me down at that point. In fact, uh, I actually went on, um, went on a date with, uh, that girl from freshman year. Um, finally got up, uh, the courage to ask her again, I guess. And it turns out that, uh, she, she just wasn't, wasn't the girl I thought she was. Um, I don't know if whether she had, she had changed a whole lot, or if, um, I just kind of pretended she was better than she really was, um, uh, when I had this huge crush on her, because, um, there's actually this thing called one-itis, and I truly believe in it, um, and it's just kind of like where you have such a big crush on this, like, one person that you just focus on them so much, and any flaw that they actually have, like, they could have tons and tons of flaws, but because you've already deemed them perfect in your eyes, and as the one for you, then you no longer see any of those flaws. Um, and I think that's what happened with her. And so, uh, there were, you know, a string of other girls, and then, um, I actually met a girl that I started to like, and, um, you know, she was, she was funny, she was cute, you know, all those qualities that you look for in a girl. And, um, so I started talking to her, and it turns out she was, uh, she was friends with an old childhood friend of mine, and so I started hanging out with, uh, that group. And, uh, then, you know, lo and behold, after, uh, after being successful with all these girls, it turns out, um, the one girl I liked actually had a boyfriend. And so, uh, that kind of sucked. But, um, I just, I just didn't want to give up. Um, half of it was, you know, that freshman, sophomore year, me, um, who just didn't know, you know, to just kind of move on to the next one. Um, and half of it was just me just really, really liking her and frankly wanting her to be mine. And uh, so a couple months passed, we were still friends and uh, she ended up breaking up with her boyfriend. And, um, and then uh, a few months later we started dating. And uh, I've been dating her ever since. Um, we're, I think we're running on a year and a half now. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, barely graduated from high school. Um, I think I was literally at the credit minimum, um, which the credit minimum is pretty uh, pretty lenient. So I like sophomore freshman sophomore year. I did really really bad. I failed quite a few classes. Um, junior senior year, I think I, I failed maybe three classes total. But I mean that's still a lot and I still got you know a lot of D's and stuff um, and that's the end of the video um, if you guys want me to do a part two to this um, you know make sure to hit that like button leave a comment um, and uh, I guess I'll just kind of let the music run out um, as always stay classy keep winning I'll catch you guys later